Hi, I'm Trevor Bullsnitch, and you are listening to CCE Network. Today's top story, of course, is the coronavirus. And for you technical bastards, the COVID-19. Now we are on 967 day of the quarantine, and believe it or not, people are having success. Like the senior pastor of Shackin' Up Baptist Church, Pastor Leroy Love Offering. Now we will be talking to him in a moment about the, his uh, viral church growth and his church's success. But first, let's go to the weather with Brother Satchel. Brother Satchel? It's springtime. <laughs> yes, indeed, Satchel. We are in the spring. <laughs> I know we've been core team since the fall. <laughs> Uh, oh, just a moment. Yeah, okay, I'm getting word that we have Pastor Love Offering via Skype. Pastor Love Offering, how are you? Hey, tell the, tell the truth I'll be right there. Yeah. No. Hey, tell Pastor them I ain't going to be offering. long, but I'm going to be strong. Hello. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm going to do that. Oh, Pastor okay. Love Offering. Oh, hey, uh, <clears throat> how you doing there, Brother Roll Snitch? Uh, I'm doing extraordinary. I'm blessed and highly favored. <laughs> Can I shout about it? Well, Pastor Love Offering, um, your church is getting great success in this chaotic time. Uh, this past Sunday, you received over 700 million uh, followers live. How is this happening? Well, yeah, uh, brother, brother Snitch, uh, the church is receiving great success uh, during this co coronavirus epidemic, huh? Um, yeah, we got over 700 views uh, on Facebook, uh, live views, you know, it wasn't, wasn't the people that just went back and uh, watched it, um, you know, they would, they would listen, tuning in as I was delivering the word, um. You know, this ain't nothing but God. You know, ever since I started shacking up that this church, the Lord has been blessing us. Huh? Can I shout about it? So, uh, if you really want to know how it's happening, talk to Jesus. Huh? Huh? <laughs> well, Pastor Love Offering, I must admit, I've never had the privilege of hearing one of your messages. But I heard on this past Sunday, your message was entitled, David is a stripper. Now, I'm familiar with the Bible, and I've never heard of this story. Care to elaborate? Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, I preach about how David was a stripper. Uh, a lot of people don't know that that is a biblical job. Uh-huh. I said it's a biblical job. Yeah. It is because uh, strippers are frowned upon uh, uh, now and days. You know, people, oh, you go to a strip club, you're nasty. No, it's biblical. You see, because David, uh huh, the Bible says David danced out his clothes. Uh huh. What do strippers do? Dance out their clothes? Can I shout about it? So, therefore, David was a stripper. Huh? Huh? David was a stripper. See? But nobody nobody wanna frown upon David dancing out his cold. But they get mad when fact the love offering go and support small businesses when they dancing out their clothes. Can I shout about it? See, I'd be a hypocrite if I talk about how David danced out his clothes, but I don't go and bless those women for dancing out of their clothes. Can I shout about it? Well, Pastor Love Offering, why do you feel your techniques are easy for the people to understand? Uh, I think my techniques are easy to understand because I keep it real. Huh? Like the young people say, I keep it 100. Huh? Can I shout about it? You see, I, I give the people the word the way the word was meant to be understood. See, all these preachers want to preach an hour. Hour and a half. Uh-uh. Not me. Two minutes. I give you the word in two minutes. I ain't long, but I'm strong. Huh? Huh? Can I shout about it? I, I use hood words. Huh? 
I don't use no word, no big words in the dictionary. Cause, cause normal people don't understand that. Huh? Jesus don't even understand that. He be like, what they talking about down there? What they talking about down there? Huh? Well, he said, I like that love walking boy because he, he talking the way I understand. That's why I get all these followers. Huh? They follow me as I follow Christ. Can I shout about it? I also heard, and I don't know if I'm hearing this correctly, but I heard that for communion, you use Hennessy and honey buns. Why is that? Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. We use Hennessy and honey buns uh, for communion because it's biblical. Huh? I said it's biblical. You see, Jesus is the bread of life. Huh? And the Bible say, uh, he's sweeter than the honey or the honeycomb. Huh? So when you get the bread of life and honey from the honeycomb, what you get? A honey bun. Huh? Can I shout about it? That's all the honey bun is? Bread and honey. Can I shout about it? And she, you see, uh, uh, we use Hennessy because it tastes good. <laughs> Can I shout about it? Huh? <laughs> well, are the people getting drunk? Uh, yeah, they're getting drunk. Yeah. Isn't that huh? sin, Pastor Love Offering? No, no, it, 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 ain't, it ain't sinning because the Bible says, be ye not drunk in the wine. Don't say nothing about Hennessy. Yeah. That's why I don't give my people wine, because I don't want them to get them drunk, because then they get drunk off of wine, they sinning. Huh? Can I shout about it? So we give them Hennessy, so if they get drunk, it's all right. It's biblical. Huh? Huh? Can I shout about it? Okay, Pastor Love Offering, last question. I know you are a very busy man. Um, Just want to know, how is the tithing situation? Are the people still giving? Well... Uh, tithing has been good, huh? Uh, uh, the Lord is blessing uh, all my, 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 my members of Shacking Up at the church. They still tithing. The new members are tithing. Um, mainly because if they don't tithe, um, I got the tithe cop on them. Tithe yeah, cop? Yeah, yeah, the tithe cop. Um, you know, he, 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 uh, he worked for, for the church now. Um, you know, when the members don't pay their tithe, he go out and, and bust them, and he bring them back to me um, to get that tithe money uh, because we don't play that. I don't care if you, if you lost your job, you're getting an unemployment check, give me that 10, that 10%. Really? Yeah. Well, I ain't no monster, though. You know, for I know people losing their job for the cut of the corona, um, so we took... We took the tithe down to 9%. 9%? Yeah. Uh-huh. I talked to God, and he said it was okay. He said it was okay. Yeah. He said it was okay. And we took the tithe down to 9% so they can still tithe 9% um, on their unemployment. Yeah. Um, because I don't feel like I should suffer because you lost your job. Huh? I don't, I don't feel that way. Can I shout about it? You know, that, that don't you and your job. But I'm still giving that word, you know, still giving it two minutes. Like I said, I ain't long, but I'm strong. You're still getting blessed and highly favored. So I don't feel like I should suffer because you suffered. Can I shout about it? Well, there you have it, folks. That was Pastor Leroy Love Offering of Shacking Up Baptist Church. Please tune in tomorrow as we discuss how all the homeschool students are now making straight A's. <laughs> I'm Trevor Bullsnitch, and thank you for watching the CCE Network.